Good evening. Welcome to this Good Friday service at Jacksonville Presbyterian Church. Uh, we're going to have just a short service this evening. I am going to read the Passion narrative in Matthew. So that's Matthew 27, starting with the 11th verse. I'll uh, give you a minute to find that. I'm going to read to you and uh, just make a few comments as we go along. And then we'll sing a hymn and I'll send you on your way. So Matthew 27, beginning with the 11th verse. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. So is Jesus the king of the Jews? Well, no and yes. He's not the sort of king that Pilate and the Jewish leadership are thinking about, a king who might lead a violent uprising against Rome. But he is a king, a different sort of a king, and he will be king not only of the Jews, but of the world. Picking up with verse 15. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who was called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed Jesus over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent a word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what should I do with Jesus, who was called the Messiah? All of them said, let him be crucified. Then he asked, why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, his blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Jesus is crucified instead of Barabbas. Barabbas is a Jewish freedom fighter condemned to crucifixion, but instead Jesus dies, and Barabbas, who should have died, goes free. Do you understand Matthew's point? Matthew is telling us something about all of us. Jesus dies in the place of Barabbas, but also in our place. Verse 27. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after Twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. They are, of course, making fun of Jesus here, who is uh, not their idea of a king. Where is his army? And they are sending a message. This is what happens to any Jew who is called a king. Verse 32. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. Simon carries the cross. 
Why is Simon mentioned by name? Why do they remember his name? I suspect it's because Simon's a believer. He's known to the other believers. He's a disciple of Jesus. And notice that he is modeling for us a believer's task. To quote his master and ours, whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Simon is taking up the cross and following Jesus. You are to do the same. Take up the way of the cross, the way of worshiping God and serving others and follow Jesus. Verse 33, and when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes amongst themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. They're making fun of him again, and the Jews, but they got it right. Jesus is the last great King of the Jews, the Messiah. And so he is the king of the world and our king. Verse 38. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he wants to. For he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. They say he saved others, he cannot save himself. They almost get it right, but not quite. Actually, Jesus saves others by not saving himself. Jesus dies that you and I might be saved. Picking up with verse 45, and I'm going to read the rest of the story without comment. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, wait. Let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what had taken place, they were terrified and said, Truly this man was God's son. Many women were also there looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening... There came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. Amen? Let us pray. Our God, we thank you for Jesus, 
who does not save himself, that we might be saved. And we thank you for Simon who carried his cross as an example to us who are to shoulder our own crosses and to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Help us to walk in the way of Jesus. We pray in his name. Amen. And now we are going to sing Rock of Ages. from our sins by his blood and made us to be a kingdom priest serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace.
to Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble. Crucified.